Hey guys, Paul here from Military History Gear Review. And today, we are going to be checking out this. This innocuous looking uh, bag is a U.S. Army Individual Combat Shelter from ORC. Uh, you can see it's ACU patterned, it's, uh, so it's at least five years old, uh, maybe a little more. And this is, uh, actually got this for about 50 bucks from a uh, Craigslist seller. So we're going to find out just how good the Army's uh, version of an individual pop-up tent is. So stick around. Alright guys, so we are checking out the Army's individual combat shelter in a CU pattern. Now, I got this, as I said, used, so I tested it out. It does indeed have all the parts to stand it up, but I am not confident that it has uh, ancillary parts if there, there aren't any tent stakes or guy lines or anything of that nature. But what we do have is, of course, tent poles. We have the tent itself and we have the rain fly right so let's see how long it's going to take us to set this tent up all right so you can see here it's probably a little mm, probably about eight feet long so again you have to think that for army issued tents it's not going to be a one person tent in the way that a commercial backpacker might need a tent where all they need is themselves and their gear. They're assuming that this is a tent for uh, an infantry soldier with a big heavy molly ruck, their weapon, their IBA, their hem helmet. So they're going to need, it's going to be a lot bigger than the tents, the individual tents that we're used to. All right, and there we go. It's set up. So let's take a quick tour. All right, so. As you can see, this rain fly protects, you know, three quarters of the tent. You can see it's got some, uh, got some sort of oil spot damage on there, um, but that's okay. That's sort of to be expected. Um, you can see also that the the tent's entrance is truly fully enclosed. This is actually meant to be a blackout tent, which is to say that the um, interior is meant to be a, enable you to totally and 100% uh, black out um, or prevent aircraft or enemy from spotting uh, light sources coming from inside the tent. Uh, that explains the black, the black tarp, and everything else. Now let's see. You can see here to keep. Out the rain, you have a large vestibule that you access through the other side of the tent, which is pretty interesting. Um, so I suspect I may have done this backwards, because as you can see, here is a mosquito net that you would want to keep open for airflow, and of course over there is your vestibule. So I may need to reverse this, but I think you guys can see what the army is going for here an individual uh, one-person shelter with that accommodates even a fairly tall person. I'm almost six foot and I still have a good foot and a half of space with a large vestibule and a rain fly and um, a mosquito net on one side. So, so there you have it. All right. He's going back. They're all going back.
All right, guys, so I spent the night in the uh, ICS, and here's my assessment. Um, I was going to actually talk a lot of smack on the vestibule as being kind of over the top and unnecessary, but there was about a 20% chance of rain last night, and so I moved my backpack and all my gear into that vestibule, set the posh palatka down on the ground, and uh, uh, went to sleep. And sure enough, in the middle of the night, it started pouring rain. And I gotta say, one, this rain fly is outstanding. Not a drop got in to the tent. And I didn't treat it with any uh, seam seal or water repellent uh, treatments. And it still worked perfectly, right out, of, right out of the box. And maybe the previous owner or user treated it, um, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Um, and that vestibule, because it was big enough to hold all my gear, meant that almost nothing in my campsite got wet. Um, so, yeah, I guess uh, I gotta, you know, eat, uh, eat my words here, because that vestibule really delivered. Um, in the larger assessment, some other comments, you know, it, it was, it got down to about 64 degrees last night. And so that's still like, it, it's warm, but it's not that warm. Uh, but it was significantly warmer in this tent. Um, that rain fly is very heavy and it only, in terms of ventilation, only has this one front door. And as a result, there's not a lot of airflow going in. So it can actually get quite a few degrees warmer than the outside environment. And I'm sort of surprised that's the case because the U.S. Army has so much of its so much of its modern gear design is informed by Iraq and Afghanistan, uh, countries where it can very easily get extremely hot. Uh, so you would think that they would design a tent with a lot of ventilation if that's what's needed. Um, my other biggest issue with this tent, and the reason that I'm probably going to uh, be getting rid of it is that six pounds is huge for an individual tent. Um, it's bigger, that's heavier than the three-person tent. And I think a lot of that's driven by the fact that the army needed to make this um, uh, blackout. It makes all the materials heavier. It makes, um, you know, just, just everything a lot heavier than it needs to be. Um, as a result, yeah, I, you could probably use this as a four-season tent, so that's pretty useful. Um, but there's a lot of four-season tents out there that that aren't this heavy. You know, again, I have three times the space in my like rando Amazon brand nature hike, uh, and you know. <laughs> it's a, I could, I mean, I, that doesn't have this cool vestibule, but it's so big I could bring my gear inside with me. So, ultimately, uh, I think it's up to you. I think if you're a stealth camper, this is an awesome option, because it's literally camouflage, it's blackout. Um, I'm not a stealth camper. I don't camp places I'm not supposed to be. Um, but, uh, if you are looking for a four season individual tent and you aren't concerned about weight maybe you hike out a little bit set up like a hunting camp or something and go along your business uh this might be a good option for you um but other than that i would actually look at commercial options just because just to save that backpacking weight so thank you guys so much for tuning in and joining me on this video um please remember to subscribe to the channel it really helps uh, give the video a like if you enjoy the content, and of course comment down below with other gear that you want to use, or if you have had a different experience with the ICS, or if you've had experience with some of those old school shelter halves, um, you know, or the Marine Corps has a pup tent, I think it's called the Light Fighter. Yeah, I'm really curious to see how this stacks up with other ones. So thank you guys, and I will see you on the trail.